Hi everyone! Hope you are doing well and having a wonderful day so far. I'm just gonna get right into it because I don't want this video to be like a thousand minutes long because I have an empties video and I have a ton of empties. Like, a ton. Oh my gosh, they're gonna spill everywhere. Doesn't look like a lot, but it's a lot. Um, this has been stuff that I've been collecting up for the past like couple of months or so, um, and I just need to get rid of it. So I want to show it to you guys. Um, these are like my favorite videos to watch. I have no idea why. I just really enjoy watching them, so I hope you do too. Um, but let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing is this Bar & Co. diffuser. Um, I don't... I'm not sure where I got it from. I think I got it in a subscription box one time, um, but the flavor is milk, oatmeal, vanilla, and vetiver. That's what it says right down here. Um, this is the little bottle it came in. I still have it in my bathroom. Um, there's still some stuff in the jar with the reeds, but this part is empty, the stuff that it came in, uh, or the bottle that it came in. So I thought I would just go ahead and show you guys in this. It has lasted me for over a year. I started it, um, or about a year, I guess I'd say. I started it when I moved into my place, which was last June. And it's still going, so it's going to last me for a while. And it smells really, really nice. It's not um, overly strong, which is good. Um, I just, I don't like the stuff that's too strong. And I like to burn candles as well, so it's not, like, overpowering my entire place. But so this is just one thing by Bar & Co. Um, and, yeah, I just really like diffusers. So this is one product that I've really enjoyed. Um, I'm not going to repurchase it just because I... You know, I have some other stuff that I need to use up, but um, I do really like reed diffusers. Next thing is by Copper Tone. It is the Continuous Spray SPF 30 uh, Waterproof Sunscreen. This stuff is great. Um, it sprays on really nicely. It's it's pretty good um, for protection. I'm, you know, very sensitive to the skin. I should probably use something a little bit higher than SPF 30. Um, but I really like it. And it's taken me a while to finish, which is nice. Um, I have a pool, so I've been trying some different sunscreens to see what works best for me. And this was just okay. I don't know if I will get this one, particular one again. Um, but I guess we'll see what comes of it. But I just want to show that as part of it. Okay, next thing is a sample. I do have some samples in here, so um, just bear that in mind. Um, this is a L'Oreal Paris Age Perfect Glow Renewal Oil. Um, I really liked this. I was putting it on after I cleansed my face, before my moisturizer, before bed, and I really, really liked this. I think that, um, I don't know, it just felt really nice. It wasn't too heavy. It was a really nice light oil. I don't think I'm going to purchase it at this time, but it's definitely something I can see myself purchasing in the future. And because it's L'Oreal, it's from the drugstore, so I'm guessing it's not as expensive as some of the other um, face oils that you see nowadays. So I really liked this, and I will be purchasing it if um, you know I get around to it. I do have a couple other samples I want to give a try first, but I did like this. Okay, next thing is a soap by Bath & Body Works. I used the heck out of this. I loved this. It was um, Sun Drenched Vineyard was the scent. It was the foaming hand soap. And look at the bottles just so cute. I just love these bottles. I think that they're really, really pretty to have sitting by your sink. But this scent was really, really nice. You know, it's a hand soap. It works fine. Um, I get them because they look cute and, you know, the scents. So I really liked this one and I used it literally until the last drop. There's nothing left. Okay, this is a sample of the Dove Go Fresh um, body wash in the Mandarin and Tear Flower scent. I showed this, um, the full size version of this, in my Influencer Vox Box unboxing video. Um, and I really, really liked this. I'm excited to have the big scent and to use, or the big size and to use that. I have actually two of them um, now, and I really, really liked it. It smelled really nice. And, you know, I felt very clean and moisturized afterwards. So this was just a little sample, um, but it was awesome. I liked it a lot. And I don't need to repurchase it because I have two. Um, this is a little candle, um, just a small little sample. It's by Tonka Noir. Or no, I'm sorry. The line is Tonka Noir Luxury Center Candle by Alume. I believe this was in a subscription box as well. Burnt that all up. I don't really exactly know what the scent was, um, and I don't, doesn't, 
I don't think it says on here. It just says soy candle. I don't know. It smelled really nice, um, but I'm not going to be purchasing the full size of this. I have plenty of other candles, and I'm guessing this one's probably a little bit pricey because um, this is a good brand, this Illume. Okay, another couple samples. Um, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Matte and Poreless in the color Ivory. I loved this. I got a couple uses out of it. I thought it was really, really nice. Um, I definitely want to try the full size. I wish, um, this is what it looks like on the back. I wish it had a pump. I don't think it does. Um, that's one thing that's like a turn off to me, but I really liked it. I thought it was really nice. This, I think, was the normal to oily skin. Um, brand or variation I guess you could say and says mattifies and blurs pores so I really liked this um, I thought this was a really really nice fit for me and the color you know worked pretty well and so I would definitely like to try the full size of this sometimes um, as with most things I have a lot of foundations that I need to use so I probably won't buy this right away but definitely something I can see myself purchasing in the future Okay, another sample is um, Sephora's Instant Moisturizer, and this is just a little face moisturizer, or I think it's a face moisturizer. I just used it on my face. It felt fine. There wasn't really much of a scent to it. I'm not really interested in purchasing it. I think you can get something that does the same stuff for a lot cheaper at the drugstore or, you know, um, something that smells a little bit nicer. So, it was just fine. Okay. This is the Macadamia Natural Oil Flawless Cleansing Conditioner, 6-in-1 Cleansing Conditioner. Um, I think that the goal of this is to be able to cleanse and condition your hair with just this. I didn't feel like that was the case. I thought it was a nice conditioner, but I didn't, I, you know, I use the shampoo as well. I wouldn't rely on this solely for cleansing. Macadamia um, is a great line. I've been using their hair mask uh, recently, and I love it. But as far as this goes, I don't think I'm going to buy it again. It was a foamer, like foamy one, and um, I got quite a few uses out of it, but I just think um, you can get a little bit more when it's just a liquid and not a foam. I think more, you know, kind of comes in the bottle. Um, yeah, you're supposed to use it in place of your shampoo and conditioner. I don't know. To me, those things don't really work. But it did smell really nice, and it was great to use as a conditioner. It left my hair feeling very, very soft. So I'm not going to repurchase this, but I have purchased other things from the Macadamia line, and I love them. So there's that. Okay, moving on. I still have so much stuff. Um, okay, so these are the All My Oil Free Gentle Eye Makeup Remover Pads. I love these. I have been buying them for years, and they're great. They're the best eye makeup remover pads I've ever used. Um, they come with 80 pads and there's one size that's even bigger. I love these. I will definitely be repurchasing these. These are awesome. Um, this is Tresemme's Color Revitalized uh, Conditioner Color Protection for Color Treated Hair. This bottle is humongous. What is this? 32 ounces? Humongous bottle. Took me forever to get to through. It was a great conditioner. I liked it a lot but I'm not going to repurchase it because it's huge. Um, maybe in a smaller bottle, but it just it took forever to get through, and I like to switch up my conditioners and shampoos, so I don't think that this is one I will be repurchasing. But it was nice. It smelled fine, and um, I think it was helpful with color protection. I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't really using this when my hair was like this color. I just was using it more when my hair was just slightly highlighted, so I can't give you a for sure... Um, gauge on the color protection, but it just was a nice conditioner, but it's huge. So I'm not going to repurchase that. Um, here's another candle. It is by Bath & Body Works again. Uh, watermelon Lemonade is the scent. It is all sooty, so I apologize. But, um, oh, it smelled so nice. It, it just, it smelled like summer. I loved this. The mason jar is really, really cute. If I knew how to get the extra wax out of here, I would and reuse this. I don't, and to me it's not worth it to try to figure it out, um, but if anybody wants to share, please leave it below how you melt this out. Um, but I really, really liked this one. I didn't repurchase this exact scent when I went to Bath & Body Works last time, but I did repurchase um, some other scents. So I just, I really like their candles, and I'm sure you'll see some of the, some more of those in an empties or favorites video because Bath & Body Works just makes great smelling candles. Okay, continuing on. Oh, I don't even know where to go. Let's do some more samples. Um, okay, so this is by Redkin. This is like destroyed, so I apologize. Refining Sea Polish for all hair types. Um, Nature's Rescue. This is what it looks like. It's exactly what it says. It's a sea, like a polish 
very gritty. I felt like it just stripped my hair of all the natural oils and I did not like that. This is, I was not a fan of this. Uh, so with that being said, I'm not gonna purchase it, but if that's the type of thing you like, kind of to get all of that build up out, then this is what, you know, this will be good for you. I just like clarifying shampoos. I prefer those over to this kind of like gritty polish type stuff. So I was not a fan of this, but it's by Redken and it's, you know, a good brand. So maybe someone else will like it. Okay, this is a sample of the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation um, in Nude. It is mattifying and oil-free, as it says right there. I liked this. I thought it was nice. Um, I liked how it was like went from a liquid to a powder. I thought that was a really nice consistency for my skin. Um, the color was okay. It was a little dark for me. I'm not going to purchase this just because it's a very, very expensive foundation. Hourglass is a really good brand, and I do have a couple things from them, but... I don't know, I just think this is going to be a little too pricey for me at the moment. So, I'm not going to purchase this, but I did like the sample. Uh, this is by Olay Tone Perfecting Moisturizer. It says it fades the look of dark spots in eight weeks. Obviously, I didn't use it for eight weeks. It's a very small sample. I only used it a couple times, but it was nice. Um, I have no idea if it fades the look of dark spots. No clue, but it was nice. I don't know. Maybe it's something I would try. Um, I'll keep this kind of in the back of my mind as an option, but as with most things, I have a ton of moisturizers I need to use, so I'm going to go ahead and use those before I buy anything else, but I did like it. It was nice, and it didn't really have much of a scent, so that was fine. Okay, moving on. Um, I have this little sample size um, of Harvey Prince Hello Exfoliating Shower Gel um, Liquid Loofah. I guess is the line. I liked this a lot. This, um, I got a few uses out of it, and it's, the scent is Sicilian Lemon, Spanish Mandarin, and Pumeria Botanicals, and it smelled really, really nice. Um, I think I have a sample of perfume in this fragrance, and so I'm excited to use that because it smelled really, really nice. Let me see if I can still smell it a little bit. It just smelled really refreshing and kind of perfumey, and I really liked it. I love when body wash smells really nice. So, um, this is just this little sample. I'm not going to purchase this because I have plenty of body wash I need to use, but I really liked it, and it's something I would think, consider purchasing in the future because I just, the scent was really nice. Okay, this is Nourish Organic um, Renewing Eye Cream with Avocado and Argan. I, this looks like a sample size, but it took me forever to use. I would consider this like a deluxe sample to full size product. It took me forever to use. It was nice. I don't think it was the best eye cream I've ever used. Um, so th therefore I'm not going to purchase it, but I did think it was nice. And like I said, it was long, long lasting. You only need a very little bit. So, um, I know avocado and argon is really good for your under eye. Just this wasn't my particular favorite. So there's that. Um, this is just a little crest complete. I just happened to throw it in there. Um, whitening plus scope. I'm currently using a different crest whitening toothpaste that I like a little bit better. So this was just a travel size and I happened to throw it in the back. Okay, a few more things. I'm trying to hurry because I don't want this video to be like an hour. Um, I showed this in one of my favorites. Um, my April favorites, I believe, is Hair Gestures Invisible Oil. This was just a little sample, but I really, really liked this. I felt like it made my hair feel really, really smooth. Um, instead of going out and getting this one, I have a Biolage one that I had kind of tucked away that I'd forgotten about, so I started using that again, and it had the same effect. It was really, really smoothing um, and really nice. I just got the Biolage one from the drugstore, and so it was really nice, but this is definitely something I would consider purchasing um, because I really, really liked it, and it made my hair feel so, so soft, and I felt like it helped the, the drying time, too. It, it felt a little bit quicker, so that was nice. A little Vaseline Lip Therapy. Um, this was great. I used it all winter long. Every night before I went to bed, I love this stuff. We'll definitely be repurchasing this stuff. It just leaves your lips feeling so hydrated. This is um, Juice Beauty Green Apple Age Defy Moisturizer. Reduce appearance of wrinkles, firming peptides. Um, I, I thought this was a fine moisturizer. I didn't like the scent. And that's pretty big for me. If I don't like the scent of something that I'm putting on my face, I'm not really going to like it. So I'm not going to purchase this. Um, but it was a fine moisturizer. It, as 
far as age defined goes, I have, I don't know. I, I don't pay attention to that kind of stuff because I'm not really sure. But um, it was fine. I just, I wasn't a big fan of the smell. Okay. CRX Microdermabrasion Face and Body Scrub for Preventative Aging. This is just a small sample. I used it on my face a couple times. It was fine. Um, it was very similar to the Microdermabrasion I use now, which is by Bliss. It's their Micro Magic, which I love. I love that one. I love the scent. I love the way it makes my face feel. This was just okay. So I'm not going to purchase this. Um, and this seems, I don't, I don't know much about it, but I can imagine that this would probably be a little bit more pricey. So not going to purchase this, but it did feel fine. All right, this is by Amica or Amica, not sure how you say it. Nourishing mask in their City Buckthorn Berry scent. <sighs> I loved this. This is a hair mask. Um, you put it on in the shower and leave it on for I think it's like two to three minutes. Um, everything from this brand smells amazing. It is one of my favorite brands of all time. I have their dry shampoo. I have. I want to get. Just all of their products, it smells so good. I love this stuff. Um, I definitely want to purchase the full size of this after I'm done using the hair mask that I currently have. It just smells so good. I'm going to have to smell it. Oh, it just smells so good. I love it. I don't know why. But anyway, really like this stuff. It made my hair feel really, really soft and smooth. Definitely will purchase this at some point, the full size version. Okay, only like five more things. Um, so we're almost done. Okay, this is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfector. It has SPF 30 in it. Um, this is another thing that took me a long, long time to finish. I really like it. I have no idea if there's a scent, or excuse me, a scent, a color. It just says light sheer tint. Um, I really liked this. I use typically BB creams as opposed to foundation during the week just because I don't like too much heavy stuff on my face like when I'm going to work. Um, like heavy heavy makeup so this is really really nice I um, have other BB creams that I like better but I do like this one and could see myself repurchasing again because it's it's a you know a fairly decent BB cream for a good price so this is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB cream I did, did like that okay this is the Dove Advanced Care Beauty Finish uh, 48 hour antiperspirant deodorant I like this deodorant. I've already purchased another Dove one, um, and I will continue purchasing this brand. I really like it. I actually think Dove is probably my favorite brand of deodorant. It's a 10, Miracle Leave-In product. My holy grail leave-in hair product. I love this stuff. It is my favorite hair product by far. Forever, I've used it for at least six years. I love it so much. I will repurchase this as soon as I can. It's so nice. Um, I'm using another one right now that is fine. I just don't, you know, it's, I don't like it as nearly as much as I do this one. So, holy grail, we'll always repurchase favorites right there. Okay, almost done, almost done. Uh, this is a long video. All right, three more things. All right, Seche Vite Dry Fast Top Coat. This is, um, this bottle here it does look half full but I had it for a while and so it's just dried out and kind of gotten stringy so it doesn't really work as a top coat anymore I already repurchased one of these this is my favorite top coat it dries so quickly I love it and it doesn't leave your nails you know splotchy or streaky or anything like that so I love this okay this is um, a bronzer it's got crap on it sorry bronzer by Clinique the true bronze press pressed powder bronzer in O2 Sunkissed I don't even think there's anything in here to show you the color, but I love this bronzer. Clinique just has great makeup in general. Yeah, I can't even open it. It's like so old and there's nothing in there. Um, Clinique makes great, great bronzers, so I'm definitely a big fan of their stuff. I am currently using the Too Faced bronzer, so um, I won't be repurchasing this at the moment, but if I do need a bronzer, I know this is a good one to go to. Okay, and the last thing is a mascara also from Clinique, and it does have stuff all over it again. Um, so this is just the Clinique Mascara, Lash Doubling Mascara, um, and this is in the color brown, black brown. I did get a mascara to replace this just from Sephora, but I love this one. I love this brush. For some reason, it's just a really, like, I really like this brush, and I like the color. I think it's a really nice brown color for every day. So this is a, a great mascara, and I will be repurchasing this at some point. Um, because I really, really like it. So, ah, uh, 
that was a marathon, but thank you for sitting through that. I appreciate it. I know it was a long, long video, so I'll wrap it up really quickly. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you did. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!